What? My, my foot? Oh, my makeup artist is asking me if there's any sheen on my forehead. Charlie, sheen? No, not too much. Good. Have we fulfilled our requirements for non-deceptive tagging? We have? Good. On with the show. Oh, baby. He's a smart, smart I'm him. And he's a I'll tell you. If you've got a question, ask Dr. Rat. Don't know it, baby. Hello out there, and welcome to Ask Dr. Al, which happens to be me. Okay, I'm a busy man, so let's get right to the question of the day. Luigi Dillenberger from Chicago, hey, the Windy City, he wants to know where do farts come from? Oh boy, is that a loaded question. First of all, Luigi, the scientific term which applies to that bodily function is fartulence. Now the short answer, as we all know, is beans, but there are many components and intangibles involved in the production of fortulence, or what we sometimes refer to as rectal fermentation. For instance, if we look deep inside your intestines, which ain't the prettiest sight in the world, we'll see that you've got your undigested beef, the remains of last week's chicken nuggets, you've got your cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower, you got little bits of nuts and seeds and stuff you couldn't possibly identify. Plus, you got your various bacterial parasites which are up to no good and which add both the pressure and the pungency and if you're lactose intolerant that can really cheese up the works we're talking sulfur baby you cram all those factors together in a tight little enclosed space and you've got a perfect storm in your kishkas one good sneeze and it's all over which is nothing to be ashamed of because everybody does it even the president clinton reagan you know, Napoleon was a very big father. That's why he always held his stomach. Now, an even better question than where do farts come from is, where do all those farts go? Think about it. You've got 300 million people in this country, and if each one of these fine citizens passes gas three, four times a day, which don't make me laugh, but just for the sake of argument, you're talking a billion farts daily in the continental U.S. alone. Where does all that ripeness go? Can't all wind up in Jersey. But seriously, with all this rampant methane, no wonder nobody can think straight anymore. You're getting it from all directions, in the subway, in the elevator, in the ATM cubicle, and not for nothing, but this cameraman over here is killing me. Hey, Bozo, I'm giving a scientific disquisition here. You think I need you blowing off every five minutes like friggin' Old Faithful? What did you have for breakfast anyway, a cabbage burrito? How about a little self-control? Put a cork in your sphincter. I'm running out fumes here! I hope this answers your question. And this ends another session of Ask Dr. Al. And remember, whatever your problem, he did it again. Schmuck. That was you. That wasn't me. It was you. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. It was you. It was you. Woo. You know the words. He's a smart, smart man. Sing along. Everybody. If you've got a question, ask Dr. Al. Sing it, baby. Hey, I'd love to answer your question. Write to me, Dr. Al, at this email address. You can send an email or even a video. See you next time. Ow! Ooh. Ow! Ow!